kuona kazi ya Mungu ikitendeka siku ya leo ni siku ambao hatukutarajia tutakuwa hapa vile mnajua kwamba tumekuwa na kampeni kali kabisa ambao tulikuwa na waziwazi hata mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na waziwazi sikujua mimi tarude manina na vile atateua na mimi nataka kutashukurani kwa viongozi wetu wa makanisa mbalimbali waliniombea mimi nilisema nitaenda kwa hao waniombe kanisa langu nilienda akibisho kwangu hapo pale nikasema baba niweke kwa mkono wa Mungu akaniweka niko na kamati ya in the religious committee kwa kaunti nzima nikawaita nikawaambia kujeri kwa ofisi mniombee ili nibaki kwa hiyo ofisi niendelee na kazi na walikuja na wakatoa ile maombi inaitwa maalum ile amachome kabisa ile 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 direct inaenda direct haiendi kando kando na kile wakati huo Mungu alikuwa imara akaona huyu mzee wataendelea. Kwa hivyo nasema asante sana. Kwa watu wa Bihiga nasema asante. Yale umetenda ni kuonyesha kwamba kisiasa umekomaa. Kisiasa umekomaa. Sasa hii hakuna hata muda kileta Handouts ama pesa ngapi unajua ni nani amtenda kazi na kwa hii wakati ambao tumekuwa kwa kampeni umenipatisa na kunipatia jina mpya umesema utitoe ni mtenda ka na mimi sikuwa najua hiyo jina lakini we nyinyi mmesema utitoe ni mtapa ka na kitu ya muhimu ni kwamba ukiwa na kwa uongozi lazima uwe mwenyekevu lazima usikize yale watu wako wanataka na mimi nasema shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa miaka hii tano tumekuwa uongozini mume nipatia support ya kutosha nilikuwa na changamoto kubwa lakini uliniombea hata tiko na makabisho ambao wako hapa walikuja kwa ofisi yangu wakaniambia gavana usiwe na wasiwasi Mungu atakusaidia kwa haya wa changamoto yote ambao uko nayo na kwa kweli Mungu alitenda hayo so yangu ni kusema Asanteni 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 sana. Na nataka kutoa shukurani kwa nini watu wa Bihiga pia. Kwa kuwa na election campaign ambayo imekuwa campaign ya kipekee kwa kaunti hii hata kwa Kenya kwa jumla. Tumekuwa na peaceful campaign. Campaign ambayo watu hawajatusi wengine, watu wameangalia tu yale sera sawa kwa hivyo nasema asanteni sana kwa watu wa Mihiga kwa yale ambao mmetenda na tumeonyesha kwamba tumekoma kwa kisiasa hata wale viongozi wote ambao sisi tulikia na nia viti mbalimbali baada ya uchaguzi na matangazo kutangazwa wale wameshinda hamjakuwa na vurugu yoyote sisi zote tumerudi tuko pamoja na nimeona viongozi wote waliania viti mbalimbali wako hapa 
wale walioshi wale walishinda na wale walishindwa watu wa zote tuko hapa na mkiangalia hapa mbele mnaona kwamba hao viongozi walishinda na wao walishindwa zote tuko hapa kwa vile ni ile yetu ni moja ni kuleta mabadiliko na maendeleo mapya mihinga kaunti hiyo ndio nia yetu zote wakati tulikuwa nauliza kuchakuliwa tulikuwa na nia moja na hiyo nia ilikuwa kwamba tulete maendeleo kwa watu wa Vihiga na tubadilishe maisha ya watu wa Vihiga kwa hivyo sasa election imeisha sasa hili waliobaki ni sisi viongozi wote kuja pamoja na kuangazia ni maendeleo gani ambao tungependa sisi watu wa Vihiga tuweke kipao ya mbele ili kuona kwamba kwa miaka tano ijayo tutakuwa na maendeleo ambayo itabadilisha maisha ya wananchi ili wananchi wetu wawe na maisha ambayo ni ya hali ya juu so hilo ndio jukumu letu na niko na furaha viongozi wote wako hapa na yale sasa ambayo imebaki ni kusema tuende mbele tupeleke kaunti yetu mbele tumekuwa na watu wengi ambao wamenisaidia kwa hii kampeni siwezi nikasema wote lakini kwa jumla naweza sema watu wote wa vihiga walisupport kwa hii kampeni wala ambao huko ni support wala wani support sasa tuko kitu mo sasa tuko kitu mo moja na kuangazia yetu ni kuangazia maendeleo ya vihiga bila mapendeleo viongozi ambao hawajakuja lakini wameleta ujumbe wao wa heri na baraka natoa shukurani kwa kamati ambayo ambayo imeandaa hii occasion kirazi kuwa gavana wenu so wale ambao hapo wananipenda namwambia ni kunipenda saa hii inamalizwa ili nimuite nyote mkuje kwa hiyo ni so wale ambao walikuwa natarajia kwamba gavana atarudi kwake wajue kwamba gavana atakuwa kwa nyumba ya county government na kazi ya gavana gavana ni kiongozi wa county mimi ni president wa Vihiga County. Na tuko na serikali Na tuko na serikali moja ya national government ambayo ni kali 48. Kwa hivyo leo hii wala ambao wako na doubt 
Nataka mutoe hiyo doubt kutoka leo. Gavana wenu ambayo amepatiwa mamlaka na katiba kuwa governor kiongozi wa kaunti hii ni Dr. Ipa Asiwa Opie. tumetoka nyuma yale ya nyuma tutajua yale litendeka lakini sasa tuangazie mbele as your governor and our governor who is now fully fledged governor for the next five years nataka sasa as your kiongozi am your leader am your moses tuongoza nyinyi watu wa vihiga tuende kanani safari yetu ni kuenda kanani na kanani ilikuwa na maendeleo kuwa na maendeleo so kitu ya kwanza ningeomba mnipatie ni support ndio baba support mnipatie ndio baba viongozi wote ambao wapo elected na anasema kwa unyenyekevu tafadhali viongozi wote hata wale ambao tumekuwa kwa mirengo mbalimbali tafadhali nipatie support na mimi i will respect you na nitasikiza yale ambao mtasema bora tu itatupeleka kana so ningependa as a start today tukubaliane kama watu wa viiga tunatembea pamo pamo nataka tukubaliane leo kama watu wa viiga tuko jamii moja nataka kuanzia leo haya maneno ya kusema hii ni wanyore hii ni baragoni hii ni tiriki haya ni tiriki hiyo kuanzia leo nataka kusema tuweke kwa kaburi iliyosaulika we want to be people of here that's right we want to work as a one community so that we can bring an equitable development across the county and we can only do that if we are going to work as one community one entity And that's why I want to stress nataka kuimiza hapa. 
our leadership in the Mihiga must be inclusive. Lazima iwe ambayo iko na usawa. Itapokuwa tume mumeelect sisi na kwa kwa hiyo election nyinyi ndio mliamua. Lakini kama viongozi hao tunaingia sasa kwa ofisi ni jukumu langu na viongozi wengine kuhakikisha kwamba uongozi wa kaunti yetu iko na usawa inclusiveness inclusivity is very important so as your governor i want to assure you i do not want to marginalize any community anybody who stays in this county Anybody who stays in this county belongs to this county. Therefore, we should not at all say that this one it does not belong here. All of us belong to Bihiga. Whether you are from Central, but you work here, you do business here, you belong here in Bihiga. And when there are benefits, those people deserve to get the benefit. I am aware that there has been problems where people who stay in this county, when it comes to getting uh, uh, benefiting from various benefits of the county, they have been marginalized. I am aware. Particularly when it comes to bursaries. People who don't come from this county normally are marginalized. I want to say from who stays here, belongs here, and is a, a, a native or a resident of Vega County, and deserves to get all the benefits that this government can give. So I want to send that message very clear so that we have a cohesive society. There is a lot that we have done in the first five years of my leadership. Nafikiri nimezungumzia hayo kwa urefu sana kwa forum nyingi kwa hivyo nimesema leo sita sungumzia hayo tena lakini kwa speech yangu nimeandika yale yote pale tunatoka and pale tunataka kuenda. So, kawaida, mi nataka kuzumuza pale, tunataka kuenda. Where we have come from, we have already accomplished what we could accomplish with the help of the Almighty. But where we want to go is the most important. So, munajua bizuri, tumefanya kazi ambao imekua na changa moto mingi. Kwa sekta tofauti tofauti, tumefanya kazi, lakini haja kamilisha. Na hakuna wakati mwote dunia hii, tutasema kwamba tumekamilisha kazi, kwa hivyo tukae na tustare. Hakuna, there is no time. Otichiro is going to do his work for the next five years. Itafika kiwango hile munga mesema nifike, alafu mwile atakuja. Hivo, hivo. So, development is a continuous process. So, as we sema, ungefanya hii, ungefanya hii, because everything has its time. Kwa upande wa governance, yani uongozi, I can say, tumefanya kazi about your lifestyle. That it has, we eager, we still have challenges in the governance system. So in the next dispensation, I'm going to work for the governance. Governance is very important. Na bila governance system mzuri, hakuna chochoto na esafanya. So kwa wakati huu, tumefanya yale ambao tungefanya kwa hiyo miakatani meisha. But there is still a lot I'm going to do under governance system of Iga County. My vision is to ensure that when I leave this seat in 2027, 
I should have put a foundation of a governance system that anybody would come and run the system, whether he likes it or not. It's a poor system. That's why in the U.S., in the developed countries, they don't care who becomes the president. They don't care who becomes the governor. Because the systems are in place and they will work. Whether the, the governor, whether is a rogue governor or not, the systems will work. That's what I must be aspiring to do by the time I leave this county as a governor in 2027. So that is one area that I want to assure you in my manifesto. I have put a lot of emphasis on governance and other governance. The issue of concern is the issue of corruption. The issue of corruption, we cannot overlook it. I cannot say there's no corruption in the bigger county. I'll be lying. We have it. It is there. So under the governance system, we have as a community agreed to fight corruption. Governor alone is not going to fight corruption. I'm just one Moses who is driving you to the right destination. But what happens at the back here, I don't know. So all of us, we must come out clearly and say we must fight corruption. And I've signed here, one of the documents I've signed, ESCC, I've signed to ensure that I will fight corruption using all my energies and knowledge. That's what I've signed here. So I want you to help me to do it. As I was being sworn, my party leader and our presidential candidate, our, our, pre our president, Raila Amolo He sent a message to me. He sent a message to me when I was just here, congratulating me for winning this seat. And he said to me, one issue we must fight is corruption and ensure we have good governance, which is transparent and accountable. So those are the areas where I'm going to focus. So on corruption, help me. Help me deal with corruption. I'll create an enabling environment. Within the next few months, I'm going to make a toll-free number that will be available 24-7. If you notice any corruption issues anywhere, you read. And it will be half automatic recording. Yes. So you just ask what you say exactly what you want. Yes. And we to be recorded. Yes. I'll have a 24-7 office or unit which will be computerized so that we have the issues of corruption reported continuously and acted on immediately. Yes. In the structure I'm going to form, I'm setting up an anti-corruption unit within the government structure. Yes. Ensure that this unit, their work will be only to look at corruption issues. Within and without. Because within the government, there is. There is. <laughs> so I want us to fight the enemy from inside before we even go outside. On the head, we have done what we could, but I can assure you we are going to, go to do more. So on the health sector, I want to assure the people of Higa that I have in manifesto a number of programs that I'm going to implement that will improve that the healthcare system in this country, this country. We are going to implement to the letter universal health care 
recovery program. This is a national program, and we are working with the national government to ensure that this program is implemented at the count. And the program entails having everybody in this county or in the country have insurance, national hospital insurance. Because once you have insurance, then all the health facilities will be available for you for free. So that's what I'm going to work on. And the money that will be paid by you using insurance, that money will go back to that health facility. And in the long run, I imagine, I imagine we shall not need to get money from the national government. If that program works, we shall run our healthcare system ourselves with only a few subventions. So that's where I'm going, and I don't say, uh, I, I'll, I'll be giving you the details later on. On infrastructure, to Metanesa Mabarabara. We have, last month, Bariane, to me open. We have opened Barabara all over the place. The problem we have Barabara about to open is maintenance. Maintenance has been the biggest problem. And therefore, in the next program I'm going to implement, I want to ensure that we maintain our Barabaras continuously. Rather than giving a contractor a job, he comes, prepares the road, it's good, but when it rains, the old maram is washed away, and then the road comes again to where it was. Then again, next year, I put another five million. I think that's an, uh, it's not the best way to use our people's money. I'm going to put up a program of maintenance where roads we shall divide it in various areas, and we shall ensure that we have contracts that will be assigned to people, to contractors, for not less than three years. So that that contractor continues to maintain that road. And if he does a short job, we shall not pay him. So that is the only way we shall maintain our good roads. Otherwise, in my own considered opinion, we are wasting public funds every year doing roads. And each of those contractors, we will tell them, wherever the roads are, maintenance will be done by the people who live along that road. Yeah. So they will create the job for Vidana, Kilamama, and everyone. That way we shall maintain the roads. Then we shall also ask our people, who after we make the road, they come and block it because of entrance to their homes. We we'll ensure that we put caramels to all homesteads so that we can ensure that that does not happen because that's the biggest problem. So, Kabarabara, I think that's what we are going to do. And in this dispensation, I want us to move away. And the engineers are here, I can see even the engineer Abadi is here. We have been doing Maram roads for many years. We can't continue doing Maram roads. I want now to start doing tamaking on the road. We can keep on just baraming here in, here out, baraming. We now have to start to do tamaking. So I have a program which I'm going to work in collaboration with the national government to start doing tamaking of our main roads so that we have tamaking. And I'm happy already, I'm working with the national government, already quite a number of roads are being tamaked. And we are going to have more roads tamaked. So my vision is we have tamak roads. The Marams are also causing environmental disaster. Yeah. If you see where they are moving Marams, they are creating, you know, disasters. They are creating quarries which are a major problem to us. So I want to stop that. Education, I think we have done extremely well. And I want us to move to another level, a, a, a higher level. We have given out bursaries. Although there has been problems in uh, 
giving bursaries, but overall we have done very well. We started the governor's scholarship program, which is very popular and is helping the poor children of our community. So we will continue. I tend to put more money in governor's scholarship. I want to have more needy students from our communities to go to school. So I'll put more money in the uh, governor's scholarship. For the bursary, the budget allowing, we shall also put uh, more money to ensure that we, we move forward. On the issue of youth and gender, it's an area that is of concern to me, and I think even the country. We have our youth, we have our energetic youth. They have the education, they have what it takes, but they have no jobs. This is an area of concern to me and to the people of Kenya. So during this period, we are going to focus on how to create employment and job opportunities for our youth. And as a result of that, we worked so hard with the youth leadership led by a youth called Ibrahim Member, I'm sure he must be here. They worked so hard to come up with a youth act, which we have already now gone through the assembly and is now a youth act, it's now law. That youth law allows us, as a government, to bring the youth in the mainstream of the government. The youth have not been benefiting from the 30% affirmative action on the tenders that the government, the Vinga County government, awards. With that law, they will be able to access. We have also set up a youth fund that is going to be dedicated specifically to the youth and they will manage it themselves. Anytime you reach 80, uh, 35 years, if you are a leader, you will automatically be moved. Because we want that fund to be managed by the youth so that if they squander the money, we will tell them, look, we gave you the money, and you yourself, we, are, we have squandered it. So don't ask us. So we would want to have that fund, and I'm going to operationalize it as soon as we get the people-side funds from Treasury. So that will be able to help our youth. We are opening more opportunities in our youth polytechnics and our, our, our technical institutes where we want more of our youth to go and learn skills. And from there, they'll be able to access to their farms and be able to get money to do their job. On the trade, we have not done much. Yes, we have established trade and enterprise fund, but this fund has not had adequate money to have a, an impact. But he will have trade and enterprise fund to expand to make a person yingi, that he will focus on the small scale business people, the Mamamboga. Because the one we have had, most of the money has gone to the already the business people who are already doing business. We want at least Mamamboga, one of the 5,000, 10,000, up to 20,000. So that we are going to do. Our markets, most of them, have, uh, they don't have the facilities that are required. Now, your sister, now we have to go to Suruko. Now, in the facilities, Amazo Zikoko, this is tradition. Particularly in many of our cow markets, there are no toilets. There are no toilets at all. So. One of my key projects I'm going to do is to ensure all the markets have the riverside facilities, starting with the toilet. So that we will do as we move forward. On agriculture, we want to focus on agribusiness. 
tunataka kufanya kilimo biashara we have grown maize and beans for many years and we still we are entangled in poverty nataka sasa tuachane na maize na beans we go for hot kacha tuanze kupanda mboga na hivi hakuna na kuwa haraka ile ambayo tutauza so that's a program we are going to expand through the narrative program that is already on kwa mazingira tuko na changamoto kubwa kwa upande wa mazingira ijapokuwa nataka kutoa shukrani kwa watu wa Vihiga kwa kupanda miti watu wa Vihiga nyinyi ndio namba 3 in Kenya kwa kupanda miti watu wa kwanza ni Nyandarwa ni Nyeri followed by Nyandarwa and then the third one ni Vihiga our tree cover is 35.9%. Wa angine wana struggle kupata 10% of tree cover since tuko na 35.9%. So kwa upande wa miti tumefanya msuri. Lakini tuko na makosa ambao lazima turekebishe. Kwa upande wa mito ile ile miti ambayo ama ile 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 miti ambayo iko katikati ya ya miti mito tumetoa zote na sasa tumewaacha mito yetu wasi tunalima mpaka kwa mtu na mito mingi imekauka maji ndio uhai and therefore in the next dispensation about tumeanza leo lazima turudishe miti um, ile mito yetu ile ilikuwa Sheria inasema kutoka katikati ya mto lazima tukusipande chochote 30 meters on either side. So hiyo ni sheria ambayo iko kwa kitabu, kitabu hii ni design moja hapa. So lazima as a, a, a government we will have to ensure that we save water. Kwa vile kama we don't conserve water we are going to die. Maji yo hai So that's an area tutatoa sera. Na hiyo sera tutaanzia na nini? Tuseme how we want to rehabilitate those river right areas. Alafu mkitoa hiyo sera nitapeleka kwa assembly, assembly wa kubali, alafu sisi zote tufanye yale ambao tutakuwa. Hebu sita sema bila sana ni governor amechukua rungu ataanza kusema basi toka hapa no. We are going to follow the procedure. Na kaunti zisingine zimefanya. So we are not going to reinvent the wheel. We are not going to do anything new. Other counties have done. So mujue wale ambao wako kando na mito. We must save those rivers. Lazima tupande miti ndio hiyo maji irudi. Pia kwa upande wa mazingira. Maneno ya mchanga tuko na sehemu zetu ambazo ziko milimani huko Maragoli Hills na huko South na huko West Abyss huko Tambua Banja huko watu wanatoa mchanga kutoka kwa bicho na hiyo sasa imeharibu mazingira ya pande hiyo barabara zinaporomoka and so on and so so kwa upande wa mchanga tutaleta tena sera bila tuta kumba, bila tutafanya ili tuone kwamba hilo janga haliendelee so tuko na kazi kubwa kwa upande wa um, wa mazingira maji maji ndio uhai na wakati huu mmenipatia kiti ya kwanza nataka kuangazia ni ma Bye. Nataka by God willing nikirudi sasa officially a few boxes manyinya in 2027. Nataka <laughs> <laughs> kila familia iwe na maji. <laughs> na hiyo inawezekana. Actually inawezekana. 
tuko na water projects everywhere lakini hizo water projects ni kwamba hatujazambaza maji kwa watu so that's a program i'm going to start start from monday already i have engaged a donor from from uh, germany the donor is here as we are talking and the donor is going to start helping us plus the funds we get from the natural program. so water ni kitu ambayo i'm committed to finally I want to say this county is ours. We are not going anywhere. We are here. Even those of us who stay in Nairobi or anywhere else, eventually when we die, our remains are brought here. So we must love and invest in this county. And I want to challenge all the leaders who have been elected, those who have not been elected, and all others. We are not going to develop Vihiga if we are not investing in We can't be investing in Kitengela. We can't be investing in Kitale. And then we will go Mutangao and say there is nothing happening in Vihiga. I want to tell you that money you are using on Mutandao from morning to evening. Ukama ngoweka pamoja, ukekuja uanze kiosk hapa. Na ukekuyeni jobs. So I want to appeal the people of Higa, particularly the elite, since about to mesoma, to get to be a pesa wanaindi hapa. Please, as you invest in Ketengela or Machakos, please remember also to invest in Vihiga to create jobs here. We can't create jobs by investing elsewhere. So the Ivi Karibuni that you are invented of all our leaders. <laughs> To ensure, if you are a leader and you have not invested in Vihiga, we will tell you go and stay where you are. <laughs> because we have some people who have invested elsewhere, they only come here during holidays. Some of them all those mashamba, so they have done nothing. So I want to see investment. Na hii majina yote ndaweka ndaweka ndo kwa wewe sadie. Sawa, anawans wanastahili ku invest in Vihiga, but we here they have invested here, they have invested here. So what here we are doing. Well, let's say was here. Amplify. Bila nasema kwamba we when we eventually die we are brought here. Sili kwa hivi. Na wakati huo ndio nakuwa na meja harambe ya matanga. Lakini ukisema harambe ya mtoto kwenda shule hakuna mtoto anatoa meja. Lakini ya matanga watu wanatoa. Kwa nini? We must change the way we are thinking. Because I believe we seem, as a county, we seem to invest more in the dead than the living. <laughs> I am I, I'm telling you the truth. We must change. Let us invest in the living. 
for that reason, Bihiga doesn't have a senator. Iko mahali watu wana perepa kusikwa kama hana mahali popote. We don't have a senator. Ni Bihiga. And a cemetery is as an essential facility. He manere wa kubari watu nyumbani tumefika kiwango sasa the whole land will be graves. So, as your ambitionary governor, I want to lead, to lead you to the right direction. In the devil of the world, in the devil of the countries, the devil of the everywhere, we have designated cemeteries where people bury their, their, their loved ones. And they are permanent there. Those cemeteries are looked after and you can go there years and years. So in this dispensation you have given me, I'm going to create cemeteries. So here, Lazima to Kapuana Cemetery, Bahari Wadwa Nashi, because we cannot continue doing the same thing and expect anything new. Tayare, Nuduzangu wa salamu wa tayare wa me, they have approached me and I want to thank you. Wa mezema hawa anataka semeta. Lakini wakati tuna choose where to put the semeta. Please musiseme kwa hama sijue msieno itakuja hapa sijue ni hini. No. So we shall also do public participation, but where public participation fails, we shall use police powers. <laughs> Basi, nafikiri ni mesumusa mengi na sasa nataka kukamatisha hapo. Na nataka kukamatisha na kusema kwamba watu wa miika asanteni sana kwa kulipatia na fasi na kuwa gavana wenu kwa miaka tanu ijayo na omba mniombe. Hii kazi ni gumu. Imefaila kazi nyingi.